spinal nerves which leave the spinal cord must divide into dorsal branches or dorsal rami which innervate the back and ventral branches or ventral rami which innervate the front. It is the ventral rami which also send the innervation to the limbs. Now these spinal nerves are mixed nerves. They include both sensory neurons and motor neurons. As a result, the dorsal and ventral rami are also mixed nerves, allowing us both to feel our back and feel our front, and then also to move our back and move our front. And so both the dorsal and ventral rami have sensory and motor neurons, allowing for both sensation and motor commands. However, when the spinal nerve approaches the spinal cord, these neurons divide to form a dorsal root which contains only the axons of sensory neurons and a ventral root which contains only the axons of motor neurons. Thus, the sensory neurons coming in through the dorsal root will synapse in the dorsal horns of the spinal cord where there are sensory nuclei processing sensory information. And the ventral roots contain the axons whose soma lie in the anterior horns of the spinal cord. And so, therefore, the spinal cord is organized with its sensory information coming in on the dorsal side and its motor commands leaving from the ventral side.